Hey guys and welcome back. I do hope everyone's doing okay and today I'm doing a first impression, a review and a demo on the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. Now I did a video not so long ago on the Total Cover Foundation and I loved it and I loved their 24 hour matte foundation so really the Infallible line from L'Oreal is an absolute staple for me so I thought it was about time I tried out the Pro Glow and in this video I will give you guys my thoughts, I will give you guys a demo of me applying it and uh, yeah if you want to see that then stick around guys. Okay so before I go ahead and apply this to my face I will quickly read you what it says on the L'Oreal website. It says discover the new pro finish of long wear up to 24 hours of wear with a hydrating glow. Lightweight and creamy this long lasting foundation goes on smooth with a glow finish that lasts. With a medium coverage, it instantly hides imperfections for a clear complexion. And then it says the hydrating foundation with SPF is ideal for normal to dry skin. Okay, that is good because my skin is really, really dry at the moment. I don't know why. It's just dry, girl, okay? <laughs> Now I will go ahead and read you what it says on the back of the tube and it says lasting glow foundation never dull never greasy and then it says the finish is radiant the wear time is up to 24 hours the coverage is medium and the texture is air light and then it also says pro tip shake well dot onto skin in a rolling motion for flawless coverage so yeah that is what it says on the back of the packaging. So I have never tried this foundation out before obviously because it's brand new in the packet and I got the shade 207 Sand Beige. Now I am sand in the 24 hour infallible foundation and in the total cover infallible I'm in light sand so I kind of stuck with the sand theme so I hope to god this matches me. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to moisturise my skin a little bit with the Palmer's Cocoa Butter and I use a tiny little bit of this and I basically apply it all over my face like you do with a moisturiser. <laughs> um, that's pretty self-explanatory, but you know, never mind. I'm just going to apply this. Right, so it says to shake well before use, so that's what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to squeeze some out on the back of my hand. Um, oh, it's sealed. <laughs> what an idiot. Okay, there, guys. Okay, now I'm going to squeeze some out on the back of my hand. Okay, this is very, very liquidy. Um, in comparison to the Total Cover, that is very thick and moussey, and this is very watery, um, you know, it will run down your hand like that. Look at me shaking, Jesus. Um, I'm a bit hungry, guys. Um, so basically, I'm going to dot that on my face like this. Um, this does look like a pretty good colour for me, to be honest. Um, I do like to go a little bit darker than my natural skin. Not too much, but I like to have a little bit of colour. I do feel I'm a little bit too... Not pale, but you know, I like to be just a touch darker, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now, is doing this. <laughs> okay, so to blend it out, I will use a brush on one side and a beauty blender on the other. This is a fake beauty blender, not a real one, and it is stained, it isn't dirty, guys. Um, so yeah, I will see the difference, even though I am not a big fan of the beauty blender because I feel like it takes away too much coverage for me. So I do prefer a brush. So yeah, we'll just see. Let's dive straight in and blend. Now, I said in my last um, foundation review that I do normally colour correct all around my like um, five o'clock shadow area with an orange concealer. This time I haven't done that again because I want to see how much coverage the foundation gives you on its own without anything else underneath it. Um, I don't use primers on a regular basis so I haven't used one in this video for that reason. I normally just put moisturiser on and then whack on my um, foundation so that's what I've done. And I am liking the colour match so far. 
and the coverage is really, really nice. Um, I really do like it. It does seem very glowy already, which is a good thing because, of course, that is what the foundation claims to do, is give you a glowy, dewy complexion. Um, and I like that sometimes. I am a very big fan of matte foundation, but um, I don't mind branching out sometimes and trying something a little bit different. Um, it's blending out really, really easily. Um, I really, really like it so far. I am very impressed. I was very nervous about the colour with this foundation and the um, Total Cover because I ordered them both off of eBay and I colour matched myself online, which is very risky, but I think I did a very, very good job, if I do say so myself. Now I'm going to do the Beauty Blender side and see how this works. Um, I am a little bit sceptical about the Beauty Blender. Um, so far, it's okay. I am so used to a brush that this does feel quite alien. This is the W7 Beauty Blender, if you guys are wondering. Um, it was very affordable and for the price is really, really good. My boyfriend loves this. He thinks it works really well, but then again, he wears quite light foundation, you know, quite, um, what's the word? Light coverage to medium coverage. He doesn't do full coverage like I do. I'm a bit of a cake face bitch, so I like to be quite full coverage, whereas he likes to be more like, you know, more natural, if that's the word. But um, yeah, it works very well for him. Now, for me, I'm a bit like, there's not too much difference, but I do feel like the Beauty Blender does take a little bit of your product back into the actual sponge, which I am not a big fan of because then you end up using more product. Well, I do, <laughs> um, but I will say it has done rather a good job and the coverage is still pretty good. I am really quite impressed. So yeah. I am so happy with the coverage right now, but I am going to try and build it a little bit just to see how the foundation layers on top of each other. Well, on top of itself, you know what I mean, guys? Um, just to see if it does layer um, well or if it turns into a little bit of a cakey mess but then again I don't mind having my foundation a little bit you know um, what's the word not thick but full like full coverage I'm not I'm not opposed to it so you know it might not be that big of a deal for me so I'm going to again quickly blend this side with a brush and this side with the Beauty Blender and I'll come back and tell you guys how it kind of layers. Well, I must say I am very, very impressed, guys. Which side do you guys prefer? The Beauty Blender side or the brush side? I will focus the camera. This is with a brush, as you can see, it's very full coverage. And then on this side is with a beauty blender. Now, I do think this is still very full coverage, but it is a little bit less than this side. I do still like both, but I think I would probably go for a brush more on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I think the colour is absolutely on point for me. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm so happy with this right now. Um, I'm speechless about it, so happy. Okay, the current time is 11 minutes past five and I'm going to go away and finish off my makeup and then I will come back and let you guys know how it's gone once I've done my contouring and powder and all that stuff. Basically, I will keep checking in over the course of the evening and let you guys know how the foundation is lasting and looking and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. 
Okay, the time is now one minute past six and this is how my makeup looks. I am really happy with it. The foundation looks really nice and glowy. I have put a little bit of powder on it, not too much because I didn't want to, you know, tamper with the longevity of the foundation. But I did put a little bit of powder like under my eyes and where I contour and stuff like that and it looks absolutely amazing. I think it makes my skin look dead healthy. I don't have amazing skin, I do have texture and some pimples and stuff like that but you know the foundation itself does look very nice and I am pretty happy with it so far. I do believe that this is out in the US, um, in the UK I don't think you can get this from like Boots or Superdrug yet, so I got this from eBay for about £13, 3 postage, and they had a lot of shades, they had like a drop down bar and you could pick a shade, so I suggest if you are from the UK like me to go onto eBay and buy it because I don't think you can buy it from like, you know, drugstores or stuff like that yet, so don't worry if you can't find it, go on eBay and buy it, and if you are from the US, then go out and buy it, girl, or boy. Um, but yeah, I thought I would tell you guys that as well. The time is now six minutes past nine, and the foundation, oh, seven minutes past, the foundation is looking really, really good still. My only tiny complaint, which isn't even a complaint, is I have got very oily around my nose and T-zone area, but that happens quite regular with different foundations, so I won't really say that is the foundation's fault. Um, basically, this is a very illuminating, dewy foundation, so it is very expected that I would get oily um, sooner than a matte one but basically I would now be mattifying around my nose but because I want to see how it lasts I won't do that but basically that's my only complaint literally I love the foundation I think it looks so beautiful on the skin I love the way it makes me look I love the coverage the color just everything about it is so so pretty and you know what I think it makes me look a lot more healthy because sometimes when I wear matte foundations all the time, you kind of look a little bit like flat and blank, but wearing a little bit of like glow to the skin gives you a bit more life. I mean, don't get me wrong, I adore my matte foundation and I will be loyal to that forever, but basically this has given me like a new outlook on foundations and maybe make me like, you know, branch out a little bit more into dewy, you know, shiny foundations, not shiny, but like, you know, more luminous, glowy foundations. So yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with it right now. I think looks so good on camera. I'm just like really, really impressed. L'Oreal, bitch, you really, really amaze me. I, I can't even deal right now. They are so amazing at their makeup. I mean, <laughs> the time is 11.33 and the foundation still looks amazing. I am so over the moon with this product. Um, the coverage is amazing. The longevity seems to be quite good. I know I haven't wore this for a long, long time and it does state to be a 24 hour foundation. Obviously, I won't wear it for 24 hours because I wanna get this makeup off, get my jammers on and relax now, guys. But, you know, it does seem to be very long lasting even though it is very shiny and dewy. I will obviously wear it for a longer time another day. But today I thought it would just, you know, try the foundation out, see if I like it or not. And I absolutely adore it. So I would recommend it to you guys for sure. And um, I want to say a massive, massive thank you for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, then give me a thumbs up. Leave me a lovely comment. And of course, subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you here on my channel. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have got to say. I just absolutely love the foundation. And uh, yeah. That's it guys, I will see you all in my next one. Bye bye for now.